Okay, this is Funky Worms, and this is my computer security for Poker Player series. Uh, this video is going to cover security software. There's really uh, three categories of security software. There's antivirus, uh, software firewalls, and then something that uh, is very similar to antivirus, uh, which is the uh, on-demand anti-malware, anti-spyware type of uh, software but I'll just focus on antivirus and software firewalls right now. Um, so antivirus, most people I think generally have a, a reasonable idea how it works. Uh, typically they'll run in the background uh, whenever you access uh, some sort of resource on your computer. The antivirus scans that without any uh, interaction from you. Uh, the only interaction you may have with it is if it detects uh, something it thinks is malicious it may prompt you for uh, for what you want to do um, many people think antivirus software is absolutely necessary and uh, for most people if you continue to have bad online habits then I would say antivirus is completely necessary uh, but personally I don't run antivirus software not that I'm recommending that to you but uh, it is possible to stay perfectly safe uh, with no antivirus, um, but I say again, that's not necessarily what I'm recommending to you. Uh, I say it only to um, elaborate on the fact that many people are um, failing massively in their uh, security procedures. So let's uh, go over antivirus software. Uh, you should really treat antivirus software as um, your last line of defense. Uh, it won't protect you from everything. Uh, you can think of it as a bulletproof vest. Uh, it might be nice to have if someone starts shooting at you, but uh, you shouldn't go looking for a fight. Um, your brain is by far greater than the antivirus brain, or rather it should be. Uh, and any malware infection on your system is almost certainly your fault, unfortunately. I know that might be hard for you to hear, but uh, malware does not just magically infect your system. You did something to put it there. Uh, only in the extremely rare cases of someone gaining physical access and infecting your computer uh, would this not be the case. But in almost every case, you've done something and uh, committed a huge um, failure in security uh, best practices to put malware on your system. So uh, hopefully uh, by the end of this series, you will learn how to avoid doing such a thing. Um, and then now we get to software firewalls. Uh, software firewalls, um, in my opinion, are very close to useless. Uh, they cause way more headaches than they solve. Um, Windows built-in firewall, even in XP, I believe is sufficient. And it's free. Uh, some people recommend Komodo. Uh, Zone Alarm is a very popular software firewall. But you have to really ask yourself... Um, do you really know what's happening when you get those pop-ups that say allow or deny? Uh, most people, I mean, are you hitting allow on every one of them? Or are you hitting deny on every one of them? Uh, do you just randomize it? Uh, unless you really know what's going on, a uh, software firewall is not going to do you any good. And uh, if you really do know what's going on, you probably don't need a software firewall because you're not going to put yourself in any sort of uh, bad situation. So my recommendation is to avoid software firewalls. That may be a controversial uh, opinion, uh, but I believe software firewalls are the modern day snake oil. Okay. Um, so in order to really understand uh, security software, I think you need to understand how malware, uh, which is the general term for any sort of malicious software, uh, viruses, keyloggers, trojans, 
um, how they get on your system. And generally, the uh, the main route is through well through the internet, obviously, but um, they can either be uh, you can get the user to voluntarily install them uh, by maybe disseminating uh, some program that looks like it does a useful task but is in fact a malicious software or you can put it on their system um, by injecting it into some sort of uh, key generator that people run when they want to install cracked software uh, or uh, you can expose some sort of vulnerability in uh, in their web browser while they're browsing your site okay so um, in that respect if you're uh, if you're very lazy about keeping your software up to date then uh, an antivirus could provide you some protection, uh, but I've already shown you how to uh, analyze and find high quality open source software, so you shouldn't be downloading pirated content. Uh, you shouldn't be using Google to find programs. Uh, the sketchy programs that might contain malware and uh, I've also shown you how to keep your system up to date uh, so that uh, malicious users can't exploit uh, some vulnerability uh, in addition uh, scripting uh, website scripting is a possible way for malware to get on your system and we've also blocked that uh, with no script. So um, you'll probably still want to run antivirus because uh, chances are you may do something stupid in the future and it's possible that the antivirus software could uh, save you. So uh, my favorite antivirus software is Avira Antivirus. It's uh, free for personal use, and um, it's simply the best antivirus software that I've found. Um, definitely the best free one. Uh, really, the only other antivirus software uh, that I can recommend right now is ESET Non32, which doesn't offer a free version. So if you're gonna use antivirus I recommend Avira and I'll go through right now and uh, we'll do an install here and I'll just uh, let you see the interface um, if you're still running McAfee, Norton, AVG, Panda, Trend Micro uh, should really uh, consider ditching those programs even if you paid for them uh, they simply can't compare uh, to the uh, detecting power of Avira so you know I know it hurts to feel like you've wasted money but you just gotta ditch those programs uh, not to mention that they use more resources than Avira Okay, so I just um, typically the uh, the default is fine uh, for Avira. Um, I do like to run the uh, secure start and uncheck run a short scan, and now Avira has been installed. And I'll let it update. Uh, it's very important to keep your antivirus updated. Uh, if you're running a, an outdated antivirus, you might as well not be running any antivirus. <laughs> 